what I know about the ASU bird boxes is that they um, they keep them going so that the larger birds, as far as I'm concerned, the, the larger birds don't eat some of the smaller birds and rodents. No, I did not know there was a, such thing as bird boxes. I do know about the ASU bird boxes. I know that they are uh, sounds from predatory birds that attempt to keep away other birds. Boxes? Oh yeah, those are the things that are, those are the things that make a bunch of noise when, we're, when you're walking around campus, right? The tour guide was like, hey, there's, those birds aren't real. They're actually just recordings um, that loop continuously and you'll hear, hear them like when you're on campus. I actually didn't know that anybody did maintain the boxes on campus. That was not brought to my attention ever. No, I do not. I do not know who maintains the bird boxes. I do not know who maintains the uh, bird boxes on campus. I didn't even know that anybody did maintain them. I think it's facilities management that manages the, bo the bird boxes. So my name is Tom Sugar, and I'm a professor in the engineering um, program at the Polytechnic campus. Bird noise, I believe, is a predatory bird noise that makes the, uh, that it's used to scare away uh, most of the birds. I believe the bird noise sound has been in effect since the new buildings were built. So since Peralta, Santan, and San Mikina Lita were built, I believe they put the bird noise on the on the roof of those buildings. So I believe there's kind of a white speaker on top of each building, and yet I believe it just uh, if it hears a bird noise, then it it uh, goes off. I, I'm not sure if the bird call is effective. There's definitely competing uh, voices. Some people say it is. Some people say it isn't. I have certainly seen birds, you know. Uh, uh, around even though the call is going on.